Ladies and gentlemen, we're in Dingwo. Dingwo. Yeah, you will never heard of this place. It's the town that time forgot. And here we have Ian Blackford's constituency office. Now, Ian Blackface is a SMP MP. And uh, we'll just go down the street here. Um, and you'll see what a dump Dingwa is. The traffic's enormous flying down the road here at 60 mile an hour in a 20 mile an hour limit. And so we'll go down. I don't have much time because uh, my driver's right at the end of the road there. Uh, There's a guy washing windows, and that's never been seen before in Dingwall. In the picture house, now I photographed this picture house, and it was used on their website. And it was a beautiful picture, because they had the, um, it was in black and white, and the, the red post box, uh, in red, funnily enough. And that was caused a great deal of delight in the, the town. But all the usual worthies are in position. Deez the Bakers, it's a well-known hostelry. And when I first came to Dingwall, you could sit in there with an ashtray and have a fag. But now they don't have ashtrays. So you have to put your ash on the floor. And there's young lads, young tearaways. <laughs> and there's the sports and model shop. Now, I met a few, I photographed models, but it wasn't that type. And here's the Dingwall Museum, which has the artifacts from last year. And up there is the Dingwall Camera Club, which I was in once. Here's another car trying to uh, knock me down. And uh, so they've got some old stuff celebrating a hundred years of the Royal Air Force. Well, what about the other 50 years? And here's the, the original Tun House, which was recently refurbished and painted. But it's still covered in its Masonic signs. There's a lot of Masonic stuff in the thing more like this. This, um, a ruined, ruined thing with the stars. There's nothing more messianic than that. And there used to be a sign up there about the Battle of Orberman when the, the local person uh, killed hundreds, thousands of Orbermurians. And there was a picture of it, which was disgraceful. But they've taken that down, thank goodness. So we'll carry on this spec Sabers, which is very good for the specs. Uh, spectacular specs. Uh -huh. And down that road, I won't go down, but there's a sign down there which celebrates the fact that the Beatles came here in 1876. And there was 19 people in the audience. And uh, Margaret Patterson got this sign put up there at great expense to the uh, taxpayers. And uh, now, Blythe's with Charity Superstore. I bought a few dresses in there, in the Muraford branch. And uh, the Caledonian Bar. I've been in there. And here we have along here, Kate Forbes MSP and Marie Todd MSP's a little cottage. Now they're just taking public's money for nothing, old rope. Kate Forbes, because she was know, spent most of her life in India and speaks Indian like a native and claims to be speaking Gaelic. And Marie Todd, of course, was 20 years up in New Craig's mental hospital. What she was doing there, I don't know. But uh, we'll continue on. 
Uh, oh, I'm not used to this walking, I'm used to having a driver. Look at these dogs, like twins, <laughs> twin dogs. I've got a cat. And uh, then we'll go. Uh, we'll see if any of these cars stop. Uh, and there's the taxi rack. I couldn't get a taxi one night. I said, why don't they have a phone number at the taxi rank? And the guy goes, well, everybody knows the number. I says, well, I don't, and I'm a tourist. I don't know how thick is that. And here's a pound shop. It was for sale, a pound. But nobody's bought it yet. And over on the right there, the green, is the doll office. I used to go in there. I used to go in there and try and get a job testing animals for uh, gravy and stuff. But, uh, it's, uh, so that's the job centre. And uh, they never got me a job. And there's Margaret Patterson looking at buying things. Hello, Margaret. Hello. I'm fine. It is. It's so unlike Dingmo. She's a councillor. I stood against her in the last election, last May. And uh, she's still going about with her thousands. She had nine bairns, apparently. You know. So she'd get a bit of family allowance. But. So we're coming to the end of Dingwall and uh, there's a country garden, fruit store, fresh fruit. I'm going to go in there and uh, grab some veg. See if I can, see if I can, see if I can dig it. Right, we'll go across here. We'll take our life in our hands. And, uh, We'll see if there's a bus. Ah, uh, old sea dog. There's a lot of people waiting, so there might be a bus. They've got a new modern thing here. We've got uh, 19 minutes. We can uh, play about for 19 minutes. Now, I could do a lot of damage in 19 minutes. I've done a lot of damage in, in less minutes. We'll go over and we'll get a shot of the, uh, the National Hotel, which is not really national, it's more like your local hotel. Uh, Sunday Cabin. I'm a vegan, so is that a vegan um, Carberry? Yeah. yeah, I don't know. And there we see the Highland Theological College and the railway station. Caravan site, health centre, puff and pull, football stadium. There's the UHI, University of Highlands and Islands. But uh, they keep it right simple because a lot of simple people go to that university. So uh, there we are, there we have it. Dingwall, not what you'd expect. <laughs>